here with Abby uh, Clough. 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 Yeah. Like Clough Chin. Uh, and like rough or tough. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. So okay. Yeah. Clough. <laughs> Abby Clough. Abby Clough. And uh, we're here with Tracy Scotts as well. We got a senior and a junior on the Marshfield volleyball uh, team, and uh, we're here to talk about this Thursday's game. You guys have a big game against Sutherland, am I right? Mm -hmm. um, you guys haven't played them yet this year, have you? We have. Yeah, and, how the, and you guys beat them? No, that's our only loss this season. And no, and Sayus lost them. Yeah. So, yeah. That yeah. was our first loss. We lost yeah. in four games, I think? Mm -hmm. Four games, yeah. So have you guys been thinking about it since, uh, since losing? Uh, I think closely we have. Like, we haven't really openly talked about it, mm -hmm. but um, definitely like the elephant in the room. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I've been thinking about what I could do better individually. Yeah, well what did you guys struggle with the first game? Well the first set we won and we held them to 13 and then I think um, sometimes teams come out really fired up and I, I think we just lost our fire and they just they had more so. Mm -hmm. Really? So they just kind of jumped out in the second set and, and kind of took it from there? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, they we kind of we kind of let them win too a little bit. I think we we didn't really want it as bad as they did. Yeah. It definitely it definitely came down to that. Mm -hmm. We wanted it more. Mm -hmm. Really? So it was just a So how do you guys uh make sure that it's not a motivational issue in the second game then on Thursday? Uh if it, <laughs> if it was like an effort issue the first game, how do you guys try to make sure that that's not an issue the second game? I, th I think it's it's that feeling afterwards. It's like, oh my gosh, that's like it. When you lose, de it depends on how you play, how you feel afterwards. So like, if you lose and you played as hard as you possibly can, then you feel good. But when you lose and you know that there was so much more that you could have done, it's the worst feeling ever. And so, I think us being able to like learn from that feeling, it's going to be more motivation for us. Mm -hmm. So you guys, I mean, so, I mean, Thursday's going to be you guys' biggest game of the year, right? Yeah, it will, actually. Yeah. Well, and if we play Sayusla. But we have to level. beat Sutherland in order to play Sayusla. Yeah, so it's a pretty big game. Pretty, pretty intense. I'm excited. So uh, um, you're going in... This Thursday's senior night, mm -hmm. right? And yeah. you're the only only senior. How did that uh, How did that happen? Was it just kind of a, a weird thing that just happened? Um, I guess so. I mean, um, I don't know. I it, mean, it just completely coincidental that you were the only only person in your grade that wanted to. Yeah, I, I mean, really? I guess there's really no well, stuff happened. Like yeah, I that, mean, there's uh, there's. Volleyball is probably one of the most emotional sports there is, and so I think a lot of times, especially for girls, it's hard to like push through all the emotion, and I mean, one thing led to another, and I'm mm -hmm. the only senior I get, yeah. so. Yeah, so what is, it, what is it like kind of being the only senior, being the only person in your grade? Do you, are, are you... Um, the the number one captain, or t do you take it as a uh, um, supreme leadership role? I think, I think in any sort of situation, regardless of whether you're captain or not, being a senior means being one of the leaders. But Abby is just as much a captain as me, <laughs> and I think in our team, we don't really look at it as an age defining type thing because I mean, we don't go and be like, oh, Shaylin, she's a freshman, so she has to like do all the typical freshman things. It's, I mean, we're on varsity for a reason, and um, I don't think that just because I'm a senior, I'm entitled to more things. I mean, there's always perks to being a senior, mm -hmm. but um, I don't know. It's not like a ranking kind of yeah. thing. Like, mm -hmm. oh, Tracy's mom is definitely better than all of us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Probably it's not like that at all. <laughs> yeah, but what is it like having only, only one, one senior? Only one? Uh, Person well, seniority. I don't really. It, I just don't think of it like I. I don't even think about it. Yeah. I, like I feel like Shay is in my grade. I feel like you're in my grade. Like right. you're not gonna graduate. Right. Like, like last year with all the um, when I was on the team with all the seniors, it was so weird. Like I never thought they'd graduate. I thought I'd be with them forever. Mm -hmm. Like I'd play with them for like 
as soon as, uh, as uh, like until I graduate. And then they graduated, and I don't know. I feel like it'll be weird next year without you there. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah. I mean, what is it? You only got was it two games, three games, maybe? I, I mean, how many of you guys went to the state uh, state playoffs or the state final? How many games did you guys watch? Two um, after league, I think. Well, in in the tournament. How many games? Yeah, how many games? Oh, in the tournament? like three, three, three or four. Three or four, yeah. yeah. I mean, depending. Yeah. How many games? So you only got a couple, a couple left. Do yeah. You, do you play other sports? Uh, yeah, I play basketball and I do track. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, so I guess it's you're, you're gonna have three senior nights. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. So you're gonna have to get start getting used to them. Yeah, but I, I mean, I think each sport is definitely its own, and so it's like. It's pretty sad that like I mean this is the last volleyball game I'll ever play at home in season so yeah. well and you're gonna be it's gonna be the only time that you're the only senior being uh, honored yeah right? that's uh that's gonna be interesting mm -hmm. um, so uh, what do you um, is this uh John told me this was your first year uh, playing varsity yeah as a full-time varsity this is my first year what was it like kind of sticking it out last year and uh, waiting to to become a vital part of it. <laughs> um, I think a part of me is like, I put so much time and you know, volleyball is volleyball and it's like, yeah, being on JV as a junior is, I mean, most people look at it as kind of a degrading thing, but it's like, I played and I got better rather than, you know, being on varsity and not getting playing time. It's, it's, so that I could get better, and now be, I mean, I don't really look at it as like, you know, this is my first year on varsity, I look at it as like, this is my last year playing, and so, mm -hmm. just go all out, I guess, but, I don't know, I think a lot of people would be like, why would you keep playing if, like, you're not going to be on varsity as a, ju as a junior, and I think mo that's how most schools do it, but mm -hmm. we had so many seniors last year, and my position was completely filled, mm -hmm. and so, I don't know. Well, you stuck it out. Now you're now you're the only senior. Yeah, so. I wasn't gonna quit. Yeah, well, see, that's solid. So yeah, what do you? I mean, what do you guys? Do you guys think that this is a successful year? If you guys don't uh, get that chance to play Sayusla, what, what is it? A week from today? Yeah. Yeah, like you guys have to have to win Thursday to to force that that mm -hmm. game. At, at, is it Leesport? Is where you guys are gonna have to yeah. play? Yeah, that's what we. Yeah, that's what we heard. It's, the, it's like medium ground. Yeah. yeah. So if you guys don't force that game, if you guys don't get a chance to play for the league title, are you guys going to be disappointed? I wouldn't be too disappointed because I really, I think we played hard this season, honestly. And I've been playing with these girls for most of my life since like third grade, and I, I think it's a good way to end it. I mean, obviously, if we don't play well in the game, then I'd be disappointed. Mm -hmm. But I think, yeah, I mean, we've done what we can do so far, and it's like, you can't go back and I mean you just you have to leave it all all out on the court and so I think there's always going to be disappointment because we want to be league champs and that's one of our goals as a team but um, we just if we do all that we can do then I guess that's pretty much it whatever happens happens yeah yeah, yeah well I mean it starts it starts Thursday right mm -hmm. so I mean yeah do you guys have, yeah, is there anything that you guys are, are really focusing on, like anything you guys going to do a practice to make sure that you guys are ready on Thursday? I think um, we, when we get down, we get stuck in a rotation and we let a team score like 13 points on us in a row. Yeah. And we can't let that happen. I, I think we'll be working on rotation work and, um, you know, getting out of a bad play. Mm -hmm. I think that's what we focus on. Yeah. 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 I think that's pretty much yeah. it too, <laughs> or like um, that hunger to not let balls hit the floor. So like you go after everything. You have like this intense fire about you that says like I'm not gonna let a ball drop at all. Yeah. So just kind of ramp up the intensity. Yeah. And show up on Thursday. Definitely. Yeah. Alright, well, I don't want to take you guys any, any longer. For uh, Tracy and Abby, this is uh, George Archivist, and uh, go out and see their game on Thursday yeah. over in Marshfield. <laughs> what is it, 6 o'clock? 6 o'clock. Yeah, and uh, yeah, enjoy the lights. Thanks so much.